We got a couple of pirates joining us here in the Pirate Radio Studios as Jacob Jenkins Coward, Pirate Outfielder, and Dixon Williams, East Carolina infielder here after a five and one week and the Pirates playing some good baseball. Didn't get the one on Sunday, but uh big sample size. I think both of you gotta be pleased with where the team is right now. Yeah, I mean Fair it's, to say. Yeah, it's it definitely um a, a physically taxing week. Uh we knew that going into it and um, you know, I think I think we uh, played played as well as we could. It just uh, kind of ran out of gas on Sunday, which is something we got to get better at. One way to make it less physically taxing is to play less innings, and you do that by uh, throwing combined no hitters and making it pretty easy on you guys. How about two combined no hitters in one week, Dixon? You ever been a part of anything like that? Mm, no, never. <laughs> uh, rarely even one, maybe one no hitter. I've been a part of maybe so two in a week. That was that was crazy. Yeah really cool kind of a boring day in the outfield for you jc or did you get any action uh uh tuesday i I got zero zero (laughs) balls tuesday yeah and then i think uh one i got the last one on friday night which is pretty cool yeah uh just great great pitching from the pirates in those games and i said going into it because i thought we were going to see some new faces some some arms we don't see a lot of going into that five game week i said hey we need some some offense if you score 10 you can give up nine and still win uh you guys decided to do both i guess get great pitching and good offense but how about the bats here uh lately you feel good about where this team is yeah i think we talked about it uh this is one of our most disciplined weeks at the plate i mean especially uh friday and saturday against charlotte they pride themselves on the strikeout um and we did not strike out a lot so that was something that i thought we did really well that was put us in a good position to win yeah, Dixon, uh, speak on that, discipline. What does a, a discipline pay, plate appearance mean to you? Uh really just depends on what approach they give us. I mean, if we're hunting the heater, uh, we, we don't want to swing the slider out of hand. And uh, other way around, too, if, if we're sitting on the slider, we don't want to be taking swings at the fastball when we know what pitch we're sitting on. So uh, really just hunting your pitch, and you kind of got to know yourself as a hitter and just hunt that pitch, and when you get it, don't miss it hopefully when we see cases of and then it's rare but when we see cases of you guys taking a third strike or whatever is that just you thinking the ball is outside obviously or inside or whatever or is it you're sitting on something and they give you something different like when, when we get to two strikes there's really no more sitting on a pitch it's kind of um you know we're staying later we're on time so if we're staying late we're off speed timing but if there's a heater you know you got to do your best to get yeah. it out of there um but usually uh it's we think it's a ball or right. we just got froze which happens from time to time you obviously don't want it to but it happens i hear i've heard over the years cliff say stay late stay late stay late so what is he saying in that instance uh he's just we're just sitting on off speed okay so if you get the heater you kind of just shoot it out of <laughs> yeah you gotta Trying be ready to really do yeah. anything about it yeah uh, so yeah uh the the little things that happen uh each and every pitch is pretty fascinating a lot more than swinging a bat trying to hit a ball a lot lot of mental stuff to Mm -hmm. it although at the same time you're you're trying to kind of focus and and think about i guess as little as possible right when you're up there so what's that fight like for you jc in the batter's box um when i'm at my best i'm i'm literally yeah i really don't really think that much i'm kind of um really just thinking about a place so it's like i want to hit the ball to left field left field left field left field <laughs> um and most of the time i end up not hitting it to left field but just that that approach keeps me in the middle of the field um but every once in a while i'll get to guessing which is obviously not what you want to do and that gets me uh in some lulls here and there so stuff like that we talk each week brandon manning former pirate comes on and says hey we want to you know sweep at home and, and go two out of three on the road or or finish the week uh with one loss like do y'all have little mini weekly goals or whatever or is it just more about hey day by day type of thing uh we we break it up into i think it's five five we call it seasons or whatever so you get you have 11 games or five 11 game uh seasons and so you want to go eight and three yeah each one but obviously if you can do better which we did sure one before we went 10 and one now we're one and one in the fourth 11 yep. season if you go eight and three in each five game season or 11 game season you get 40 wins at the end of the year yep. and then you have one mulligan which is the 56th game 
so that's the that's the goal and uh i think we're like did we go seven and four in the first one i we think we eight, did no we went eight and three nine and two ten and one one and one right now yeah we're one and one in the 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 fourth all right so uh judging by that we're on a pretty good pace here mm-hmm. for the yeah. pirates as they said our mulligan's gone though we don't, okay. have, we don't have a 56th anymore because of the vcu series that got canceled yeah. we only got one of those rescheduled hmm so there are there is no mulligan <laughs> <laughs> there's no mulligan you will not get a do-over it's uh it's all there on the field for you william and mary coming up this week uh will this be the first look at them this year i believe it will right mm-hmm. so i uh, got them on the road and then uh, wichita state coming up this weekend How, do y'all keep an eye on utsa what else is going on around the league right now i know uh, still one game ahead of you guys in conference play i mean it's not like you know we're checking scores um i mean it's definitely something we realize that they have the tiebreaker over us so we have to finish at least one game ahead of them at the end of the year but no it's definitely not a focus yeah Dixon, you uh, uh how often do you look at things surrounding what goes on on the field rankings rpi standings things like that uh i i really try not to one of my I had to delete i think i deleted x or twitter yeah a while back just because you don't want to get it it gets tough when you get caught up looking into that stuff so and you're not even searching for that. it it just pops up mm-hmm. right, right yeah and then uh yeah because early in the season just trying to I really found myself looking for confidence there and i was like that's not where i need my confidence from i need it from (laughs) from things that are real not something on the internet so uh yeah i got rid of that a while back and uh just instagram now because it's not as bad as it's just posts not people saying yeah stuff well that's smart that's smart uh dixon williams jc joining us here if you got a question for the guys you can get it in youtube facebook or uh x as well um here's an interesting one well first of all ryan says ryan mccrystal that is says nah seven and four in the first when we lost midweek to odu one friday at liberty to get to eight and four he's questioning your numbers i guess eight and four is 12 is yeah. that what we said I, so he's we saying said eight and four he's nine just, and two <clears throat> ten and one he's saying seven and four rather than eight and three seven, i believe seven and four in the first one he's oh yeah it's 11 it's 11 yeah, yeah. eight and four be 12 <laughs> <laughs> thank you ryan why aren't you here if you're able to get on the chat i invited everyone well three one uh, now dix is in a blender <laughs> he's in a math blender right now you need a calculator we have one we had we have two in the past two four we just that's lost six one. oh no we have eight losses now don't we so yeah oh yeah he's on right. the year he's right i know yeah. he's right 27 and eight I thought, yeah he's right all right seven to three ryan you're right that's all you wanted to hear and there you go you got it um jansen says hey guys if ecu was to participate in an international series like major league baseball where would you want to go who would you want to play so i guess this is like to start the year where they'll go to japan or i was about to say japan mexico dominican republic something somewhere safe (laughs) <laughs> okay so, you won't have to worry about yeah japan all right would be fine i think one of my buddy uh one of my buddies went to they say old university cool. they do that every like four years where lee university it's a smaller d2 like christian school they like i think they went to i think it was punta Cana or dominican republic i that's, can't remember that's the same thing <laughs> <laughs> okay all right where'd you say jc I, I think Seoul would be cool. South Korea. That's where they went this year. The, the Padres and Dodgers. All right. Seoul. Yeah. So, so I mean, there's an E in it. Sorry. <laughs> Look, we're not doing math and geography here today, okay? No. Um, all right. And he says, who would you want to play? I guess. So would you play another college or would you play a local team? I don't know how that works. A national team. Probably like the collegiate national team. Yeah. That'd be pretty cool. Um. <laughs> And Ryan says he's not here because he's trying to battle Josh Donaldson on the show. <laughs> yeah. All right. Priorities. Look, it helps his real game, so stick to it, I guess. Uh, well, JC, you said you've been playing the show today as well, right? Yeah. Yeah, I played this morning. I have been – so I, got, I was hot early early this week. And this the past three or four online ranked games I've played, I've been getting destroyed. Yeah. That would be so good. What's your, like, is your username? It's not your real name, is it? It's 
I'm not gonna. Oh, you don't have to say it. But is it like your name? No, it's it's part. Uh, it's okay. parts of my name pieced together. But that would be cool. Like, how much trolling would you do if you knew you were like striking out a big time D1 player <laughs> online? Like, I would be te- like a high school kid, be like, telling all his friends. Yeah. Like, I own this guy. <laughs> on online. I bet if you saw my username, you could. If Probably. you knew, like, you could tell it was me. Right. Um, this is a weird one. It's not a fun stat, but like, I think every one of your losses have been by one run, and the other was two runs. Is that right? Like, that's a fr- how do you even look at that? Like, hey, that means we're we pretty. We don't quit. Yeah, you're in every game. Got a chance to win every, you know, every game. Also yeah. frustrating. Yeah. <laughs> one run. One run. Um. I think we've got some stats from Johnny, our stats guy. JC is the only pirate that did a home run in the first inning this season. Dixon Williams is the only pirate that did a home run in the ninth inning this season. The stats to consider. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. I did ninth I did um I was like re watching some at bats and they said on the broadcast that I only hit early game home runs. Which is kinda weird. Yeah. Only yeah. You're not in it for the long run. <laughs> while All dixon right. yeah i'm locked in the whole game <laughs> <laughs> there you go johnny that explains the stats uh jay he says part two jc is the only pirate to account for every rbi in a win fau yeah, game one <laughs> dixon, dixon <not. laughs> is the only pirate to score all of the pirate runs in a win fullerton wow oh two JC is the only pirate to account for every RBI in a win. So, like, okay, I see what he's like saying. Like, we scored four for I had three RBIs and, and one scored on an error. Okay. And then Dixon scored both the runs against Fullerton because we only scored two runs. Gotcha. Good stats, Johnny. How do you how do you find that? He's uh, it's interesting. Yeah, he's got his head in the books. I don't know. Uh, was JC's home run on the first pitch? Which one? Which one are we talking about here? I don't know. He also I says do because I swing at the first pitch, eighty like percent <laughs> of my bats. And uh, is that okay with the coaches? Yeah, for the most part. If yeah. I'm sticking to the approach, like if we're on time and I swing at a first pitch heater, yeah. I know uh, you spoke on Coach Lartigue last week. How about uh, adding him and Bryant Packard Dixon? Uh, how have those guys helped the, the offense and you specifically? Yeah. No, they've been great. They're uh, they just really have good plans and i think they work well together honestly they just kind of get along well and yeah, both of their romance. teachings kind of go hand in hand i'd say so i i think they've been great and when a guy has hit 400 in that uniform do you listen to him like a little more like yeah he knows what he's talking about mm-hmm. yeah they, they that's they kind of also have that uh they've played pretty recently and, yeah and know kind of what we go through on a daily basis and they're able to help us a ton uh, talking to JC and Dixon, got a question. You can get it in. Steve says, uh, who are your favorite MLB players, past and present? So we'll go present first. Who are your favorite guys to watch currently? Favorite player. He's present, but it, he's like starting to take over ever. It's Austin Riley. Oh, all right. On and off the field. Outdoorsman off the field. Hunting, yeah. Everything. I love that guy. Um, past. Um... I don't know. I'm Chipper. Not, obviously, there's, a, there's Chipper Jones, but if we're going to go away from the Braves, <clears throat> I was a big fan of Matt Holiday back in the day. Well, not back in the day. Does it make you feel old that. that his kid's playing? And he's younger than me, yeah. I <laughs> uh, got his first hit yesterday, I believe, in an Orioles uniform. Uh, how about you, Dixon? Right now, I like Corey Seager. Um, and I used to like uh, Robinson Cano. Hmm. Robbie Cano. Yep. How is second going for you? It's been good. It's kind of like, you know, just getting back there. <laughs> kind of forgot about it. <laughs> and you're pretty comfortable over there, though? Yeah. You play? Well, it's, it's, it's weird. Like, the ball will be coming at me. I'm like, is this thing ever going to get here? Right. And at third, like you don't have to wait. It. Yeah. So it's nice, but I'm I'm also a little scared that, you know, when I get back over there going to be a rude awakening i can't remember what game it was that was a perfectly placed ball between i think you two guys out in like short right field you were playing yeah. deep mm-hmm. when was blown out like yep. 
you guys have played positions, played baseball, but like, is was that that wasn't a communication factor or anything? That was yeah. just a no, it was, was? okay. Um, well, I so broke with, for the steal, yeah, the dude so, stole, so I ran a second. Mm-hmm. And you're all you're deep, so we're playing no doubles, which is where as a runner on first, so we're playing super deep, trying to cut the ball off in the gaps and down the line. And uh, he, you broke for the steal, right? Broke for the steal. I was like almost at the bag. The du- dude hit the ball, so I was going that way. Had to turn back the other yep. way, and then it looked like it was routine, and but the wind was pushing Blowing out, it back. and it just kept going. So. Yeah. So I chalk it up to kind of bad luck, but what what could have the communication been? You got to talk. Um, I might could have late. I mean, I might could have had a play if I, I know if I, he's deep. Yeah, if I pre pitch communication. So oh, like, gotcha. Say, hey, Dixon, I'm in no doubles. Gotcha. So he yeah. has the freedom to really go after it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Okay. So before the okay ball is in the air, yeah. that makes sense. Just another thing to think yeah. about. Jeez, it's a, <laughs> a lot going on. A lot. Uh, all right, good answer to that. I'm kind of kind of learning some stuff here. Uh, so yeah, coming off the five game week, you. Um, you said it was physically taxing to get four wins feels good mm-hmm. i guess everything else is uh either three or four like you got a three game week coming up exam week Ex- oh okay so that'll be classroom exam stuff week. yep but y'all guys are killing it there right oh yeah no problems yeah. in the classroom not allowed to <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> good point who's uh who's got the best gpa on the team you guys battling for that this year beal beal db no yeah. academic whatever no. He got that award. That was not academic. Yeah, it was. was it? Yeah. No, not not the award he was holding up. Not the, the gold piece. He got a he got our team. Academic. Oh yeah, we need oh, a, yeah, a yeah, gold piece sure recap too. Not much. Not really. much. You guys win anything? Well, Root, Trey did. Root won. Oh yeah, Root Trey. Was he like newcomer Shaq, freshman? Root was, new, Root was either newcomer or breakout. Uh, Joey was on breakout, yeah, but R.J. Stuff. Felton won. Yeah, RJ's pretty good. He's a good player. (laughs) Well, I think they gave him that because he was also on most whatever whatever male athlete of the year. Yeah. So then Trey Trey was the male athlete of the year. Yeah. Yeah. Well deserved. Yeah, they're reading off. They like say they say the nominee and read off all their accomplishments, (laughs) and it's like first team All American, first team All American, first team All American. (laughs) Yeah, there are a lot of baseball publications, so he he racked them up there. Yeah. Who uh, who who votes on that? There was one that. They were like, yeah, and this girl's going to compete in the Olympics. And then she didn't she win. She didn't win. Ooh. It was crazy. <laughs> I, was like, <laughs> I was like, yeah, this is. I would on. think students, but I'm not well, sure. Well, we used to. My, my freshman year and last year, email. they sent out an email. I don't remember getting it. Cause I, I didn't you know, check. Because would have voted. <laughs> you didn't check? Hey, yeah, when I heard that, I was like, no, sh- I mean, she's going to the Olympics. Or she's going to the Olympic trials. trials. Yeah. yeah. What is that, a track and field? Swimmer. A swimmer. Oh, okay. So awesome. A swim and that. dive. I don't remember which one she did. But I'm sure I've asked you guys this. If you were to compete in one Olympic event, what would it be? Well, he can swim. I'm not really good. Mm. Oh, I, mean, I can I, swim. You mean like an attempt to win? Uh, or just to do it? <laughs> good good question. What would be fun to compete in, even though you wouldn't win? Okay. Uh, javelin throw. <laughs> just see how far I can yeah. that thing. Did you ever do any track field stuff in high school? No. Yeah. Dixon, what about a? Uh, is there an odd event you'd like to compete in? I don't know. I Maybe. mean, I, the only thing I can think of is track. But you got rowing, right? Rowing. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. How about I the bet luge. That is very tiring. JC, you're probably too tall for the <laughs> the bobsled and that stuff. Oh. <laughs> Get your legs in one of those things. <laughs> Does, that's winter. One person Olympics. do it. No, there. Well, there are uh, multiple okay. guys. Yeah. Isn't there like two, two different sitting types. in there and then the other just running? There's two different types, I think. Because there's the one where you like literally just lay down flat on it. I mean, I, I guess. It's how do you get off. good at that, though, if you're just laying there? I don't know how you figure out you're good at that. <laughs> exactly. Like, who tries that? <laughs> like, it snows one day, and you're out back sledding with the boys, and you're like, I am fast. <laughs> yeah. Or I was sleeping, and my mattress ended up rolling down a hill. I like, man, it was flying, and I think I can do this now. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, weird stuff. Did you see uh, Ellie De La Cruz's Inside the Parker last week? Because it reminded me of you running. Like, he's 6'5", six, 6'6". Six, six. Like, to see a tall dude running around the bases like that is a sight. That's a compliment. And so it reminded me. Like, top tier yeah. speed. <laughs> he might have been going a little faster yeah. than you. <laughs> but uh, long-legged baseball players, there's just not a lot of guys as Neil tall Cruz. as you. 
playing. O'Neill Cruz. Yeah. Aaron Judge. Yeah. But he's, he's like not fast. seventy. JC almost looks like he's running in slow motion, and then he realizes he gets there in three steps. Those like, strides. That's yeah. unreal. It was, uh, yeah. Did you take that as a compliment? You're running yeah, in slow motion? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I bet – I can't imagine what, what, what those guys look like. Who would win in a race Six, between seven. you guys? Me. All right. Uh, that was quick. I mean, I question. down the line, yeah. But steel break, I think I got you. Yeah. Because, okay. I, I mean, I I'm, a, get, I'm a top I, speed guy. I don't get to top speed I'm a, very quick, I, uh, but I'm a top speed guy. I'm able to get a bigger lead at first. That's one thing. <laughs> yeah, he's up to like 13 feet. I'm at like 10. I can also <laughs> slide earlier than some people. All right. Um, he's definitely got just straight up speed. Do you get anything if you win AAC Player of the Week? Congratulations. Anything physical? No, like uh, uh, plaque or anything? Uh, Johnson. What's that? Johnson. Riley Johnson. Player of the week. Man. He's good. Yeah. Really he does a lot of so things. Good. Hey, he's I'm got worried. a lot of tools in the bag. All of the guys got the crazy stat. I'm pretty sure he let off every game this week with a walk. Nice. Hey, Johnny, no, get on that. Struck out Saturday. Friday. Uh, struck out Friday. Looking. Sorry. Man. That sucks. What was four? He's also got like 80 walks on the year. I mean, he, dude walks, man. <laughs> but he also hits. I, I, I mean, I'd be curious to know how many first pit first at bat of the game walks he has it's up there yeah uh jamie also asking do any of these guys feel like playing basketball since we've had like nine transfers (laughs) we need somebody to to head over there and play some hoops out there but jc would be more fit oh i mean jc would be a hooper here at the college level it's such a contact sport and i'm just not a contact sport guy anymore yeah you were saying before you uh you put on that helmet in the lobby you were just like, I can't imagine playing football. Not really the collisions, but just wearing the helmet. Yeah. Was, I mean, when I was like eight years old and I played, I ran like this because it was so heavy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That took you away from it. Uh, if you guys want to laugh at something, we put out our three-point contest oh, featuring gosh, myself, Sean, uh, Blake Harrell, long snapper Alex Harper was in it, Shirley Rhodes. I watched the one-on-one. That yeah. was that was what that was a good video <laughs> that was did it make you uh never want to get fat in your life <laughs> the three-point contest is almost just as good I if not better eat. really i cannot if wait to better. get fat really you can't wait I mean, to get fat that's a there, there was one part of the video <laughs> that's a great you almost wanted to skip because it was like neither of them was going to make a shot yeah it was so like, seven minutes straight it was bang bang Bang, like, are they, gonna, are they gonna hit one? It was layups too. Some of them. So the first two minutes, the oh, majority y'all, y'all of the clicking. points were scored. Yeah. And then we went about five score like nobody. Yeah. It was all the action in the in the first half of the video. Yeah. They couldn't miss. Uh J C speak on that. When when do you plan on get like after you get married? You're oh, old. Oh no, when I'm when are you gonna with, get fat? When I'm okay, fat might be uh, a little bit of an overstatement. But out of D one shape? I guess I just want to, I just I just want to like not have to try to gain weight, right? Or maintain weight. Like I lost a few pounds this week. We need to switch because <laughs> I'm trying to lose weight. You're trying to gain weight, so we just need to switch. That's all it is. Like when I, <laughs> it's funny. Sorry, <laughs> when I am done with baseball, I, I just want, I just want to see how much weight I can gain. But like. Not obviously crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I mean, you're not going to be morbidly I, obese. I'm wor- I feel like you got to think about when we're done, how many calories we lose a day. Like four. Like an FAU at FAU, I think I lost. There's some days where like it's like six thousand. Yeah, man, seven mm-hmm. close to seven thousand calories a day. Are you guys so constantly what, eating as well? Like trying? Yeah, yeah, you have to be almost. No. Yeah. Yeah, it's it. Sometimes it's like you're just forcing it down. Mm-hmm. You gotta wash it down with water, but that's what I'm kind of worried about. Like when you get done, like dude, your body just—it is funny because some guys, yeah. like these offensive linemen that retire from the NFL and they just shrink. Shredded. Yeah, they, it's it's very weird to see. You want to be the opposite, though. Yep. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'd like to. I'd like to be like, like comfortable dad weight. Let yeah. me get like when I'm 40. Let me be like six six two fifty. <laughs> I'm like two thirteen right now. Right. <laughs> that's a good goal 
Tyler, I don't know if I want to ask him this because I don't know if I want them in it. But we were talking about doing a home run derby, a wiffle ball home run derby. I'm horrible at wiffle ball. Yeah, that's what a guy that's going to win the contest says. It's, no, it's different. It's hard. I've been in a wiffle ball tournament before, and there weren't a lot of dingers. There was a lot of slapping and yeah. You remember when we played wiffle ball at South Florida last year? Yeah, I couldn't. I had to swing with one hand. Yeah, I couldn't, couldn't hit, hit the ball, ball. man. It's it's like a one ounce bat. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, like I was like swinging and yeah, missing like, just because I had no yeah. idea where the barrel was. All right, maybe we want these guys in it. I don't know. I think they're sandbagging. But we were thinking about trying to maybe getting like Danny and White out there, like have pitchers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They put, they have a pretty fun game. Shank they play. bombs. They should teach y'all. They have locker room baseball league. What do you play with? A foam, There's mini bats. A little foam baseball and the mini like collectible Team wood bats. MLB oh bats. yeah, that's cool. They throw opposite handed from twenty feet away. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. What, what, what wiffle ball bat do y'all use? That little skinny yellow. The skinny one? yellow one? Or are we talking like a skinny I mean, yellow or fat a red blitz ball bat? If it's yeah, if it's a blitz ball bat, then. Which one's that's that? A different story. That's like a. It's shaped like a real bat. Okay. It's just but it's light. Yeah. But the yellow bat. In my head, I'm thinking skinny yellow. Yeah. That, that one's tough. tough. Yeah. yeah. I mean. But the uh, there's like the big fat barrel red one too, oh. right? Maybe we could <laughs> drop that some one, bombs. Yeah, that is a boom stick. Yeah. yeah. Maybe put we some tape on that. that bad boy. Yeah. It's yeah. Mm-hmm. Man, that was fun growing up playing like backyard with, with, with whatever you had. Those were the days, man. You put you tape it up or throw rocks in some rocks in yep. a bat or mm-hmm. something. Yep. Barry Bond, just, Sammy Sosa, that thing up. Used to tape the sweet spot. That's what we used to. Yep. Do. Yeah. All right, gentlemen. Um, you know anything about we, the tribe? Good team. Yeah. Yeah, they're good. It's gonna be a tough road test for us, but we're excited. All right, and then Wichita coming up this weekend, so uh, that'll be a fun one as well. Uh, three games at Clark and Claire Stadium Friday at 6, Saturday at 4, and Sunday at 1 o'clock. We'll let you guys run. Thank you for hanging out today. Good luck uh, tomorrow and this week, and we'll catch up again soon. Thank you. Sweet. Thank JC y'all. and Dixon.